Rajalakshmi, Assistant Professor, Department of CACAML, at MLR Institute of Technology. Welcome back to another session of Artificial Intelligence. In today's session, we will discuss Extended Semantic Networks for Knowledge Representation. In previous sessions, we have already seen what is the knowledge representation, why it is important in artificial intelligence, and we have seen the approaches of knowledge representation approaches, how it will be represented, how it will be solved by taking the domain specific knowledge in the artificial intelligence. Let us see the overview of the today's session. We will see the introduction about the extended semantic networks and what are the uh, drawbacks, how we can overcome the drawbacks of the logic and uh, semantic networks representation. Later, we will see one example of the extended semantic network. Let us see the introduction. So, here already we have seen the logic and the semantic network representation of the knowledge and it can be used for that knowledge representation. The propositional logic and predicate logic we have seen and the semantic networks also we have seen how we can draw the network for the particular concept, particular knowledge. Next, in this simple semantic network, it will be represented using the directed graph. We will take the concept or object and we will use that directed graphs towards that concept or object. For example, hospital, then the child hospital. We will take the child hospital to hospital. Hospital is the super uh, concept or object and uh, child hospital is the sub one. Okay. In such a way, we can simply uh, derive the semantic network using the directed graph. So, it can only express collection of variable free assertions. So, if you take the English sentence, John gives an apple to Mike and John and Mike are human. Let us see how it will be represented. So, here human, Mike and John, human is the base one, means a super network and Mike is a human, John is a human. Here, the action is giving apple to Mike. So, here John is the actor, E is an event, E is an event which represented with the action and object. Here object is the apple and John is the actor. So, here if you take a human is the main base one and Mike and John are the subclasses of human is a relationship. Already we have discussed what is easier. So, Mike is a human, John is a human, E is an event that is occurring. So, here the John is the actor who is giving apple to the mic. That is what the English sentence. So, here the action is giving and uh, apple is the object that is uh, receiving by the mic. In this way, we can uh, represent that uh, network. So, here already we discussed E represent an event and whose actor is John and object is an apple and recipient is a mic. So, it should be noted that the semantic net can hold semantic information about the situation such as actor of an event giving is John and object is apple and the sentence John gives an apple to Mike. So, here we can express the casual form of logic is in the binary classification object E apple action E give and actor E John this is the event that is occurring recipient e mike is a john human is a mike e human mike is a human john is a human so here the predicate relations corresponding to the labels on the arcs so we can represent uh, representing like this on the arc we are representing the labels so towards the mike is the recipient towards the john he is the actor so on that arc we are writing the labels so the entire semantic net can coded using binary representation e apple e action e actor like that such representation representation is advantageous when additional information is added. So, without modifying the existing knowledge, we can add the new information also. Let us see example. In the uh, previous sentence, John gave, a, gave an apple to Mike in the kitchen. So, one more uh, location is added to the uh, same sentence. So, it will be represented easily like that E comma kitchen. So, E is the occurring event and kitchen is the location. The extra information can be added easily. So, for example, the sentence John gives an apple to everyone, he, it will be expressed like this. Give John, x, apple. John who likes 
when this one is the condition and this one is the conclusion this one is the implied symbol the left side is the conclusion and right side is the condition when this condition is satisfied then only this conclusion will be happened so when john likes x then john gives a apple to the x that is the uh, meaning of this representation so this is what how we will uh, represent in the logic so here the symbol x is a variable representing any individual so john likes x john gives apple to x that is the variable so it can be any actual value might marry something the arrow represent the logical connective is implied by the left side of this implied contains the conclusion and right side is the condition so other than this advantage so we uh, we are having n array representation of predicate logic so we, we can uh, represent the same sentence using the three array representation when john gives apple to mike then we can write like this give john mike apple john gives apple to mike in such a way we can uh, read that uh, uh, fact like this but when it is added the kitchen in that uh, sentence then the three array representation will be uh, changed with the four array representation such as give john mike apple kitchen so john give apple to mike in kitchen in such a way it has it will be modified from the three array representation with the four array representation whereas if you see in the binary classification it is easy to add the information without changing anything without modifying the predicate logic directly we can add the sentence at last of the knowledge so further a class in logic can have several conditions all of which must hold for the conclusion if all the conditions are satisfied then only the conclusion will be happened so conclusion to be true and can have several alternative conclusions at least one of which must hold if all the conditions are true let's see the example if john gives something he likes to a person then he will also likes that person can be expressed how it will be expressed let's see so if john gives something he likes so here the conclusion is john likes x then the conditions are john gives x to y john likes y so here when john likes y then john gives x to y okay the sentence every human is either male or female then we can easily write human is the condition and male x comma female x is the conclusion male x is human or female also human these are the conclusions from this condition so here in the semantic net network we can not express classical form of logic so but here using this extended semantic networks we can easily satisfy the, the semantic network rules and the logical rules so here it can be interpreted as a variant syntax of for the classical form of logic it has the same expressive power as that the predicate logic with well defined semantics inference rules and a procedural interpretation so it also incorporates advantages of using binary relation as in semantic network rather than n n array relation of logic so it will have the both the advantages as the semantic network as well as the logic okay. let's see the example the binary predicate symbol in classical logic are represented by labels on the arc of esnet and the atom of the form love john comma mary john loves mary so how we can represent john and mary are the nodes and the arc is the john loves mary towards the mary there is a arc and the label is love this this is the predicate this is the relation so love of john comma mary is an arc labeled as love with its two end nodes representing john and mary okay let's see the how we can represent uh, extended semantic networks so here the conclusions and conditions of classical form are represented in a different uh, kinds of arcs the conditions are represented in the denial links dotted links uh, that is a negative atom and conclusions are represented with the assertion links that is the 
positive atom okay while the arcs denoting conclusion positive atom are drawn with the continuous arrow lines so these are known as accession link with the solid line we will represent the conclusion so always the implied by symbol left side is the conclusion and right side is the condition the condition is represented with the denial links that is the dotted links and conclusion is represented with the accession link that is the solid line so we need to represent these things blindly the implied by symbol always left side is the conclusion right side is the condition when condition is satisfied then only conclusion will be happened the condition is represented with the denial link that is the dotted line and conclusion will be represented with the assertion link that is the solid line okay let's see the example grandfather x comma y father of x comma z parent of z comma y so here First, the thing is here, this one is the condition and these two are the, sorry, this one is the conclusion and these two are the conditions. So, grandfather x comma y. x is a grandfather of y. x is a grandfather of y. The conclusion. So, we have to represent that is with the denial link. So, we have represented. Next, father x comma z. This one is the um, denial link condition. So, we have to represent z is a father of father of x okay next parent of y so we need to represent it with the condition as a denial link let's see for grandfather in logic can be represented yes net here x and y are variables grandfather x comma y is a consequent means conclusion and father x comma z and parent z comma y are antecedent antecedent means conditions consequent means conclusion let's see another example male of x female of x implied human x so human is the condition and this is the conclusion consequent and antecedent can be represented using binary representation is condition is represented with the denial link x is a human and x is a male x is a female let's see the inference rules of this extended semantic networks so the inference rules are embedded in the representation itself some of the inference rules are the representation of the inference for every action of giving there is an action of taking in a class well logic so which will represented with the function action of f of x comma take action of x comma give when action of x comma give is happened then action of f of x comma take is happens the interpretation of this rule is that the event taking action is a function of the event of giving action in the esnet representation functional terms such as f of x are represented by a single node which is represented like this action of x comma give action of f of x comma take so which represented like this action of take here this one is the conclusion so we have represented with the solid line f of x take x give action this one is the condition now let's see the example so represent the following class well classes in esnet this one these are all are the conclusions and this one is the condition so which we need to represent with the dotted line and which we need to represent it with the accession links let's see so here action e take comma actor e x so we will take e as the center and action take actor x and what is the conclusion recipient e comma x so recipient x is the conclusion so we have represented with the solid line the entire thing is the one of the events so we have uh, represented with the oval shape with this uh, entire event next if you observe in the conclusion there is a take we'll take this one as the center and we'll again draw the semantic uh, extended semantic network so another event e is occurring e action take e is an object apple e is actor john so here recipient e comma x action e take actor e x when it is happen then it will also happen so object apple action taking actor is john john is taking the apple is that mean so here 
will represent like this. Not only in this way, we can represent in uh, several ways. So, this is the one of the way to represent the ES net for this example. Next, inheritance. So, here the lower level nodes can inherit the properties. There is inheritance means hierarchy. The higher level nodes unless the property is redefined in the node itself. So, let us see the example. E is a x, x is a living thing, x is a animate, x is a animate, x is a human, x is a human, x is a man, John is a man and the part of two legs, all the humans will have two legs. Let us see how it will be represented. So, the each and everything, the first one, second one is represented with the ovals. The first one, x is a living thing, x is a animate. Animate is a x1. So, for the understanding purpose, we have changed x variable with the different uh, values x1, x2, like that. And each one is each situation is represented with the oval. So, x is a living thing, x is a animate. That is the first one. The second one x1 is an animate, x1 is a human. Next, x2 is a human, x2 is a man. Man is a John. And humans will have two legs that is the part of human so john also will have two legs so in this session we have seen what are the drawbacks of logic uh, representation and a semantic uh, net representation what are the advantages of extended semantic net and we have seen the examples how we can represent the extended semantic net and the predicate logic and the semantic net also. Thank you.